welcome back to Score on Business. Remember, check out our website, scorenashville.org. And I'm Pete Hendricks, and we're coming back with Brett Holliday. Um, and so, Brett, talk to us a little bit about what strategic financial input would look like. Strategic financial input, if, if you are thinking forward, if you're thinking about the future, starting a business or starting, starting a business or starting a new product, product line, yeah. uh, that, that starts with what's known as a business case. Mm -hmm. In that case, uh, you need to include all of the information that uh, they can think of, expenses all the way up and down the board, including mm -hmm. administrative expenses. Um, revenue to, mm -hmm. uh, to as close as you can predict it. Mm -hmm. You put all of that into an analysis. You calculate a worst case, best case, mm -hmm. expected case scenario. And then as it goes along, you measure against that mm -hmm. um, to make sure that you understand how this new strategic uh, objective is working. Before you even get out of the gate, though, in that business case, you may you may very well decide it's not a bad idea, you right. know, or it's not a good idea. A rather. Good. So what I'm hearing there, there is kind of to, to summarize is, you look at, you want to to put expenses, you want to put the revenue, you you basically want to get all the numbers down there, <laughs> um, so you can get a better handle on based on the imperfect information you have whether mm -hmm. or not it makes good sense to move forward. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So I've heard you say that what gets measured gets managed. Uh, that's exactly right. You, yeah, can't, tell, you, and you, from cannot, a, yeah. you cannot improve what, what you're not measuring. Uh, so from a strategic perspective, tell us about measuring. We alluded to this a little bit uh, on the last show. Uh -huh. when, when you have financial statements, assuming they're accurate, and you're comparing them to budgets, uh, actual information from prior years or prior period, industry averages. You, you look at those variances and see if there is a good reason for those. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, you want to see if there's an area you can correct. Mm -hmm. um, as a part of that, it's important to develop key performance indicators, known mm -hmm. as KPIs. Right. These are very good operational measures. It can be, uh, a good example would be uh, sales per employee. Mm -hmm. You measure that out and you can get a couple of things from that. One is it, you're obviously going to see variances between employees. Right. Um, mm -hmm. The ones that are the most effective, you very well may be able to learn what they're doing differently from the other employees and implement that as, as a policy or best practice around the rest of your sales force. And so when you're talking about KPIs, um, depending on what the company does, sales per employee may be a great just, one. Just an example, Yeah, yes. in another industry it might be something different. In manufacturing, it could be something different. Yes, that, that is correct. It okay. could be, uh, uh, cost of goods sold versus uh, versus the sales right. numbers uh, and there are a number of things. And part of the CFO skill set would be determining for the business and the industry and all that which ones to use. That's correct. You want you want to use that information to evaluate uh, we we're talking a minute ago about product lines and yeah. new initiatives. Does it make sense? Are you losing money? If you're losing money it, it that's something you need to consider at a minimum fixing yeah at a maximum well, you, you, can't you may you, want to eliminate that if you're losing money on every sale can't you make it up on on yes you can't want <laughs> make it up on volume <laughs> <laughs> okay um what are mistakes commonly made by small companies from the perspective of a cfo uh Honestly, the biggest mistake that I see is is the financial statements mm -hmm. are neglected or they're just okay. not being used to their full potential. Right. The financial statements, more than any other management tool, they will tell a story about what's going on in your mm -hmm. operation. It tells you what's going well. It tells you what's going not well. Uh, there's a tendency if a company has a good month, don't analyze it. Mm -hmm. 
I say you need to analyze it. Oh, find, yeah. out, find out why things are going well. Yeah. You can you can replicate that. Uh, there also can be accounting errors yeah. that, that give you good results that are phantom, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Uh, the same thing if you if your results are what you expected, very often people will not analyze that. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, again, I say that it's important to do the full analysis to make sure right. that uh, and that, that you, you understand why that's yeah. happening. We're, we'll, we'll need to take a break, but when you think about measuring things for a company, we have to make a profit at the end of the day. That's right. So the what tells the story of that are these are the financials. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Well, we'll, let's take a break right quick. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, remember scorenashville.org, and we will be right back. Mm -hmm. 